Hi everyone. How are you doing? Hope you good. Hope you're doing better than our character in this game. We had a wild ride last time in Deep Down Zero. I tell you, I tell you, we we get gold. Didn't feel so great. It's more gold. Felt even worse. And things got super weird. Um, our lady companion. All right. Well, you know, we did we did get a little bit of. I, I, I think we've had a little bit more than just a smooch from our, our lady companion now, but she's the one that made us eat gold. Um, but we don't see the light in the sky anymore. So that's a positive thing, right? Fortunately, apparently our lady companion can still see the light in the sky, and she's not too happy about that. So I don't know. I don't know what to think. I, I don't know what the deal is. All I know is... I have ditched my, I have ditched my, all of my ways of playing this game. Um, because we'd already ditched picking up rope because, you know, I had to replay the whole game. And I end up with loads of rope. So I'm not picking rope up anymore. Also, I am not saying that I need to find five gold per floor before moving on. Because at this stage, I don't know how many more floors we'll be traversing at this point so it's like is there any point in saving up loads more gold so i'm just going for it as soon as we find a hole we go down it now whatever gold we get is whatever gold we get well whatever gold we get or don't get i suppose um i'm just waiting for us to eat more gold and feel worse although we can't see the light anymore so we really essentially shouldn't need to eat any more gold but our lady friend might get us to eat more gold because she might say, well, it might make the light disappear for me too if you eat more. I don't think we're out of the gold woods yet, you know? So I don't know. The thing, it was, a ba it was a bad time. It was, it was a very uh, bad time. But we've apparently made it through. But things have gone quiet. Our lady friend is also upset with us because we said, well, maybe you should have eaten gold because we both ate gold the first time. Well, no, she just said she ate gold the first time. We didn't see her eat gold. The second time she made us eat two lumps of gold and said that she didn't want to eat any because it would cause some imbalance or something, right? So I don't think she's actually had any gold. But anyway, we called her out for not eating gold the second time and she was uh, apparently unhappy about that. And I believe that was the last journal entry we had. Yep, sure was. She got angry and said, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's the last communique that we had. Hey, how come these have... I went to see the journal and these have been fully hollowed out now. I didn't fully hollow those out. That must be a game thing. That must be a little bug thing. I, I'm, I'm not going to read into that. I'm not going to let the game make me paranoid and think that something weird's going on when I look at my journal. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Nope. It's not happening. I am just literally hunting for holes. And like, if we start, if, if if my rope drops below a certain number, then yes, maybe I'll start picking ropes up again. But at the minute, we are so good for rope. So good. I'm just on a mission to get as deep down as I can get, as fast as I can get. That's all I'm aiming for now. And obviously I want to get enough gold to repair my pickaxe, but we've already reached that number, so we're good there. Oh, here we go. We haven't spoken for days. She's still a bit upset and spends most of her time devising a ritual that would work for her too. I'd like to take a look at her notes and see if there's anything I could help her with. Oh, that sounds like a dangerous idea. It might be good. You might find some facts out that you don't want to know, but it would probably be beneficial for you to see them. Something along the lines of, that stupid idiot didn't die. He didn't succumb to the gold like I expected him to. How, uh, how am I meant to make him a worthy sacrifice if he keeps surviving me poisoning him? Oh well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> I must do everything I can for the light. Oh, I don't trust her. I don't trust her and I don't think I'm meant to. But the thing is, because I'm clearly not meant to, does that mean there's actually nothing bad about her? This game twist turns unknown things. I don't know what to think. It's definitely a game that's kept me on my toes. So I never know what to expect. And as we continue to dig deeper into these murky depths, I'm 
sure it's not going to get any better for us. Or maybe it is. Maybe we get out of here scot-free. Maybe we, we, we've solved the mystery of the glyphs. We figure out the keyword. We decipher the scroll. And we get out of here. Give it to a museum. Start saving up for our next expedition. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I have, I've, I've run out of theories at this point. She hides her journal somewhere in her tent. I should look for it while she's asleep. Yeah, this... The, do you need to be sneak... I mean, obviously the relationship between us has soured pretty fast. But now, what if she wakes up and sees you nosing through the tent? That might not be a good idea. She might force feed you a nugget that's even bigger than the previous ones, right? You, she might, she might, she might stick some gold in that gullet. Actually, she might shove it. She might shove it at the other side. So I've relooked at the rituals again, and it turns out that you actually need, you actually need, to take the gold rectally. It needs to go up the bum bum. Well, if it goes up your bum bum, then maybe I won't see the light anymore. Sorry, them's the rules. Bend over. And then afterwards, that's what you get for looking at my journal. Obviously, it's going to take us a couple more. We need to we need to prepare for this breach of security, breach of trust. I think it's the right choice at this moment, though. I mean, our player, our sorry, our character might think it's for her, our lady friend's benefit, but to be honest. Come on, deep down, I think they know it's for their benefit. I'm finding quite a few holes. It's gone pretty good. She almost caught me rummaging through her stuff. My search was unsuccessful. Uh, has she almost caught you? What does that mean? Did she, like, peek into a tent and you were there? And you had to suddenly make it look like you were doing, like, a, a, a surprise sexy time moment? Try and put on a try and put on a, a schmexy pose. Hey, baby, how you doing? Get out of my tent! None of that until I don't see the light anymore. I don't know. You could certainly traverse quite a few floors, though, with this methodology I'm playing with now. And, like, my gold tally is still pretty decent. So it's, like, it's a pretty good balance, to be honest. I think getting the pickaxe where I got it to kind of made it so that this method actually does work pretty good. It's like I'm definitely not... Okay, well, I certainly want to shower me with gold now. Okay, now if I'm going to keep an eye on my durability here because I want to see where we are before I decide whether to take on another floor or not. Because once you get to a certain number, it starts getting a bit dicey as to whether you'll find another hole in time. And I'm not I'm not a fan of doing the same floor more than once, if I can help it. At the minute I am um, Okay, fine. I was about to say I'm I'm in the I'm in the stick with this floor. I broke the silence between us and asked her if there's anything I can do for her condition. She burst into tears and said yes. But she thinks it might be too dangerous. Oh no, I have to eat more gold. I know she won't have to. She's going to make me do it. I know it. There's no way. Maybe she just had to guilt trip us for just long enough to make us do what she asks. That's, that's my suspicion. And now because we feel bad for her, we'll do it. I... Mm. Now, question is... do uh, There's the hole. Perfect. Now, I'm going to stick to this floor. Try and lump out some more gold here. Again, not that I really need much more, I don't think. Because I don't believe I will have the time to save up for the last pickaxe upgrade. I don't think it's the last one. There's two more, I think. But I don't think I won't have time for that. Well, I'll take another rope, I guess. And see what... 
Oh, yep, okay. So, it seems there's only a way to help her. There's only a way, only one way? Only one way to help her getting rid of her light in the sky. I have to eat more gold. I bloody knew it! Why do we have to eat gold to stop her from seeing the light? Can you make this make sense? Can you please explain? Can you t just talk yourself out of this one, dude? This is way too obviously suspicious. Apparently she's strongly against the solution. Yeah, I bet she is. I bet she super doesn't want us to do that. Yeah, sure, right, yeah, okay. This is going to be a bad time, by the way. And I said this was going to happen after the last bad time we ha had. I said we're going to have to eat more gold, it's guaranteed. We are nowhere near this pickaxe upgrade, by the way. 50,000. You have to do a lot of digging to get that, by the way. I was doing so much digging to get back to the floor we were on, which was, by the way, for the record, 191. Um, and I saved up enough gold to get the upgrades to 400. That's a hell of a lot of digging to get those other upgrades. Unless you want to just try and gamble it, right? Get lucky with the gambling, but... I... that Even that's going to take a while. If you only get 50 coins... I mean, maybe it goes up. I mean, maybe it goes up. I've won 50 coins every time I've played this, by the way. I'm not... I'm not wanting to risk it more, but I have won every time I've played that. Interesting. Anyway, let's get back to it. Let's. How long before I have to eat more gold and we go through another bad time with the digging? Because, oh my gosh, it was hard going. The first time it happened, it was rough going. Then the second time it happened, it was... It was bad going and goopy, if you remember the goopiness, the blood. Whoa, what's this? I'm against that too, because I don't believe it would work. It's, it's her who should eat the gold, not me. I've been collecting a few gold flakes. I'll try putting them in her water when she's not looking. Oh, oh, he, yes, that's exactly, the, he's coming round. That's exactly it. It's like, no, she's surely the one that should eat the gold. Why should we eat more? How is that going to work? Are we going to end up killing her? Are we, are we actually being manipulated into killing her? Oh, no. No, my, 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 my paranoid theories are coming back on me now. What if this is a ruse? What if the light didn't go? What if we got possessed by the light? That's why it's disappeared to us. Maybe it's in us now. I've noticed that our writing's been getting a little bit more unhinged. Oh. She's given me a pouch full of tiny gold nuggets and said that I can eat them all if I want. But also that I don't have to. That it's perfectly fine if I want. I've told her I'll think about it. Things are ramping up quick. We went from like nothing on this screen. Not nothing. I mean, we've had the fourth is a lie since a while ago. Uh, these, this little writing set over here is getting older now. You know, that's been there a while. But now we've got gold flakes and a bag of gold. This screen's filling up pretty quickly now. Things are ramping up. I... I'm... Intrigued? Nervous? I feel like we are... We... Our determination is... Is high right now. We are... We are doing this thing. She's eating gold flakes. No matter what. Mm, gold flakes sounds like a pretty nice breakfast cereal. The thing is, gold flakes... Well, I mean, there's decorative dolts that you put on food, right? But, like, essentially, that's, that shit's edible. But, like, I don't know the I don't know the logistics or the chemistry of that shit. I just think this gold in particular is cursed. Uh-oh. I'm sliding a pinch of gold flakes to her water whenever I can. I think it needs to be a bigger dose. I don't know if doing a few flakes at a time is going to do it. I think it needs to be all or nothing like we did. I think that's the only way you're getting anything out of this. Hmm. 
It's like the story has ramped up so much over the last few floors that that's why I've, I've become a lot more kind of anxious to get down quicker. Because I cannot go too long without seeing more story now. It's like you need to tell me what's happening, please. Like, I don't care about the gold. I, I, I just need to know what's happening. Oh boy, it's uh, it's getting tense up in here. Or down in, down, down, down here. We're definitely not up right now. We're definitely down. So far down. I wonder how deep this is. 287 floors down? I mean, it depends how much space there is between each floor. Are we on our hands and knees digging around? Can we stand fully? Like, are these are these floors that have been built? I, you know, is there a risk of this thing collapsing? I mean, that's quite a shake every time we pickaxe something, you know, and especially when we, you know, dig a chunk of gold out. I see what's happening now. You you don't want to give me the haul now, do you? Nope. You really don't. Where have I not dug much? What the fudge? Yep, this is being one of those floors. I mean, making up for all the gold I've been, like, leaving behind, I suppose. Oh, there it is. Uh, she's asked me if I've been eating the gold she gave me. I said, no, not yet. She's been looking so downcast since my reply. Yeah, because... She wants you to feel bad for her. I don't know, I still... I, now I really don't know who to trust, though. If we can't see the light anymore, why can't we see the light anymore? You know what I mean? I don't like that we can't, actually. Makes me think something bad has happened. Oh. oh. I... What is gonna happen? Don't tell me because I've made this I've made this joke a few times during this playthrough that like, well, what if everything wraps up on like floor 200? I think it was the first time I mentioned a potential number, right? And I chucked a round number in there. I was like, nah, nah, the developer's not, Andrea's not the kind of person that would make this end on a round number. It's like, it's too, it's too obvious. It's like, get to floor 200 and then it's like, oh, look, this big thing happened. But we're inching closer to the 300th floor. And the thought's creeping into my brain again. What if it is a round number that we're aiming for here? You know? I'm too eager. I'm just slamming and swooshing this pickaxe wherever I can. I just realized something, by the way. And I mentioned this last time, and I can't believe I didn't pick up on it straight away. When I said that for a while there, when things were really bad, and we were like hacking away at the wall, and there was like blood underneath it, and squelchy noises when we took the gold out, the durability thing said weapon durability. And I said, did it always say weapon? Because it's not a weapon, it's a pickaxe. And I'm like, uh, maybe it always said weapon, and I was just imagining things again. Nope, it's gone back to pickaxe. It did change to weapon. That is interesting. And the fact that we were hacking at the wall and there was like blood. Were, and we didn't write anything in our journal during that time period. What if we were killing people? What, what if we were hacking people up like to pieces? You know, I... I wish I hadn't thought about it now. 
because that's just, that just adds another layer to my own my own spiraling worries about what's going on in the background here. Also, we're definitely staying on this floor because we only have 27 left on the durability scale. In fact, I maybe should have stayed on the floor above this one. I probably should have. We may have to come back to floor 291. Yeah. I think I got a bit carried away going down on the floor there. I didn't really think about my durability. Oh well. Okay then. Damn. Alright. <laughs> well, that's my own fault. Can't really complain about that. Hopefully we find the hole pretty quickly though so we get cracking. That's gold. Oh look, more gold. And more? And more. Okay, fine, cool. I I get it. doesn't want me to go down, does it? Hello? Where is the hall? Um. <laughs> okay, there it is. Oh, things have gone quiet in the journal again. What's happening? I don't think the gold flakes are going to work. I don't think this little softly, softly bit of a time touch is going to do the trick. I mean, I could be wrong. Oh, come on. Stop. Not stop it. Just give me. Jeez. But the, it's not even. It's not even gold either. There's only been one. Good grief. Oh come on! Don't do this to me. Don't make me. Don't. Leave me hanging with no story for ages. Please. Please, I was just starting to feel non lonely. It was such a lonely journey. And it was so nice to get more updates. Oh. I'm really not having the much luck, am I? I mean, the gold's picking up, which is nice. Like, the gold is, like, the least of my concerns right now. It's like, I need to keep going down. Thank you. Oh, really? Have we not tried searching through her stuff again? Like reading her journal. I think that's going to offer us some super valuable insights. And I think it's a complete necessity. Please don't leave me like this. just it seems to be like we were finding holes so fast when we started I'm starting to wonder if there is less holes per floor now <laughs> there's the hole just as I say that again journal it's 
It's been quite a few days since I began adding gold to her water. I don't think it's working. The good news is that we finally found a new glyph. It's the body of some four-legged animal. A lion, perhaps? The body of a four-legged animal? That's an interesting one. Just the body, not the whole creature. Interesting. Do you think it had the full... Do you think it had the full creature before? And it just wore down a little bit? You know? Damn. Glyphs, glyphs get old. The old wear and tear. People like me coming in and just swinging pickaxes all over the place can cause a bit of damage too, you know? We don't think we're taking much due care with the hacking and the banging, so... Well, it's been pretty good gold hunting. That's, that's for sure. Actually, that's pretty good too. I don't want to keep an eye on my durability now, though. Just start thinking about that. And like I said, though, with the journal entry saying the water is not uh, the gold in the water is not working, it's like I didn't think it would. I don't think flakes is enough. It needs to be a good chunk all at once. It needs to be a big, big dosage. You need to you need to ingest way beyond your daily recommended level of gold for it to have any effect. So I don't know what our next step's going to be here. Maybe we just have a chat with her and say, maybe you should eat some gold. Maybe you should do it, not me. Can't really think what else we can really do at this point. Alright, I'm still on this floor. Durability's down to 60. It's not worth... It's not worth trying to find a hole on another floor now if I do. Yeah, no, we're staying here. Staying here and... That's that. Been a pretty good addition to my gold haul, anyway. Still got time to get quite a bit better. Huh. All right. Take a rope and go down. No journal. Alright, cool. Back up. <sighs> okay. This will be the expedition that gets us past 300. I say super confidently. I'm pretty sure I can find two holes. I'm pretty sure. Two holes in the biggest ask, you know. Um, potentially, of course. Aha. Two ninety nine. Oh, you d okay? If we get to three hundred and there's no journal entry, I'd be very surprised. I mean, yeah, okay, it's possible. But in my opinion, unlikely. And I was just saying, I don't think Andre would pull the whole round number floors trick. But at this point, it's just been a few, it's been a few floors since we did anything. I knew it! She stayed at the campsite today? I guess the gold is starting to work. Hmm. It has all gone from down here. Maybe we increased the dosage. What if we get back from the campsite and she's dead? 
Or disappeared. Disappeared would actually be so much worse because that would just leave the open end of questions hanging for even longer. Because people would just be like, did she pack up and leave? Was she upset with me? Please don't just let it disappear. That can't be what happens. You can't do that. Please, please don't. I didn't think about the whole potential of us being separated. Scenario, that makes things interesting. Nerve wracking, but interesting. Oh boy. I went to her tent to give her a flower and wish her a speedy recovery, but she was no longer there! Shit! There's the flower as well at the bottom. Some have seen her go out for a walk in the middle of the night. Nobody knows where she's gone. Maybe she left some clues in her journal? If I could only find it. Find the journal, it might give us some insight into the light. So she disappeared too? Okay, so people who've seen the light have disappeared, right? This is the thing. The people who were still at the campsite, that would, so there is still other people here. Some have seen her go out for a walk in the middle of the night. Nobody knows where she's gone. There is still other people around then. For the longest time, for the longest time, it felt like there was nobody else around. But there is still other people around. That's interesting. I, I for a second, like, there didn't think there was. I thought it was just me and her. And, like, well, for a while, I thought she was just, you know... Imaginary. I didn't think she existed, but I, I feel like she does. Or did. Now. It just seemed so weird that the relationship between our player character and her ramped up so quickly. That's what made me think they were on their own, right? It's like, well, loneliness kicked in. Have someone to, tra like, traverse the bloody underground with things developed pretty quickly it seemed I mean I don't know how long they were spent together before things ramped up but but that was another thing that made me think that she was there was something dodgy not, not that I'm saying our player character isn't devilishly good looking or you know just a super person to be around and you know is attractive in general but it just felt very weird I searched every inch of her tent her journal is not in there god Damn it, why would you do this to me? Building me up for a story that I can't decipher. Poop. There's got to be something. We have to find something somewhere, surely. There has to be something. I'm afraid she'll never come back. That is not a useful journal entry. That doesn't help us with anything. All it does is help you feel sadder. Don't do that. Oh, well, at least our gold haul's pretty good again. I suppose. I'm sorry, my pickaxing is getting quicker again. I'm anxious. When I'm anxious, I dig. I'm so perplexed right now. I'm going to get more perplexed if this hole doesn't appear. I'm going to have to start getting more rope soon as well. We're down to like... We're getting closer to just having 100 ropes. Which is still a lot, but... The light. <gasps> it's back? Oh no! Maybe it does take somebody, but then comes back to get somebody else. Maybe it just continuously takes people, and that's where all these missing people went. Maybe we should just accept our fate. You know, maybe it's just time to chuck it all in 
and just say, you know what? I'm done. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm just bereft of... I'm bereft of hope. I don't know what to think anymore. We're staying on this floor. We are getting down. Okay, there's the hole. Good. You've got to fetch me at least another couple of bits of gold. Okay, there's another hole. Interesting. How many more gold can I find? Not bad. Got to be one more here for me somewhere, right? Yeah. Works for me. Oh, nothing. All right, time to go see it, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Right there, right up there in the big old blue sky. Blue sky? What am I talking about? Night sky. Not good. Oh, I'm just going to get back to it. Just forget it. Get back to digging. Get back to digging. I think this might be my last expedition for this particular video, though. We seem further away from a resolution than ever now. She came. We smooched. She force-fed me gold. She left. You've all heard the story before. I'm sure a lot of you have been there. And now I'm just scrabbling through her belongings every night trying to find some clue as to where she disappeared to. I mean, I know you get it. This is a commonplace occurrence for everybody. I still have a pouch full of gold. I should try and eat it all. I have nothing left to lose. Oh no. Oh no. Oh please, I don't want to have to go through goopy space again. I don't want to have to mine in the goop again. I hated mining in the goop. I don't like fighting with my mouse pointer. And hearing the squelchy noises. And like, if we do it again and we eat that much gold, all in one go, my stamina is going to be horrendously low. It is going to be a real fight. But I did say that we'd eat more gold at some point. I, I just knew we would. I just had a feeling. I, I'll admit though, for a while there I thought we were off the hook. I guess not. Where is this hole? If we're going to go through some more gold nightmares, let's get on with it. Holy shit. Come on. Uh, I should just mine out an entire floor. Before we eat the gold and just get as much rope as possible. Because there's lots of rope here. And it's taking us a long time to... Never mind. Never mind. Oh, there wasn't even another journal entry here. Oh, man. Are you kidding me, man? Are you joking me, bird? Bird. 
Are you fucking with me right now? I don't appreciate that. Really though? Alright, we've still got lots of durability on the pickaxe. We can get a few more floors down here if, we, if we're lucky. Well, we haven't, and we haven't eaten the gold yet. At least I don't think we have. Nah, it's still there. It's sure at least, oh no, it might not be after this one, no. Nope, still haven't done it. Honestly, though, that bag of gold could be our final hurrah. It could definitely be our downfall. Oh, are we... We're really debating this, huh? Considering, considering we said we've got nothing left to lose. It's certainly taken you a while to eat it. I'm just saying. should stick to your convictions and if you're gonna eat it just eat it don't be dilly-dallying don't be beating around the bush don't put all your golden eggs in one basket put them in your stomach just suck it up and do it man do it! What are you so scared of? I mean, I know it sucked the last time you did it. But what else are you going to do? If you want that light gone... I'm just losing it over here. I, I don't even know what to... Well, guess what, buddy? We're staying on this floor, so that's, 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 that's your problem now, not mine. You're the one that said, I'm gonna eat this gold, and then didn't do it. Well, there's the hole, I hope you're happy. Cause we ain't going down it until I bloody got this durability down. You brought this upon us. You brought another episode of mining upon us. I'm not complaining about that. I'm not complaining about that. But I am saying that you have taken your sweet time over doing this thing. And there's some of us over here sitting waiting for closure on this. And you have left us hanging. It's not me that's leaving everybody hanging. Don't be blaming me. It's it's this it's this it's this this it's our player character that did it. You son of a bitch, are you kidding me? Every time I go to bed and fail to fall asleep, I look at that pouch and think about doing it. Then I go outside, gaze at the light up there. And imagine her face emerging from the darkness in front of me. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. God, we're all alone again. Well, I mean, there is other people here. Still, apparently. Although, I guess there's a forge in an emporium. So, I guess, yeah, there's still clearly people there. Peddling their wares and repairs. But... But, but, I don't know. I don't know where my sentence was going. We've got less than 100 lengths of rope left too, so I should really think about starting to stock back up on those when I can. I guess Deep Neon Zero will return, everybody. Uh, let's see what this other symbol was, though. The uh, a body of an animal. Body of a four-legged animal. 
Oh yeah, it's here. It's this one. Right? So which ones we still have we not seen yet? We haven't seen the X. We haven't seen this head thing. Looks like a skull, maybe. We haven't seen the thing that looks like a blade. There's loads of symbols that we have not yet seen. And this has changed. These do keep changing. I don't know what to think. But if you want to play deep down to yourselves, the link is in the description below. As always, um, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I love and appreciate you all. Take care of yourselves. We'll play more of this soon. I, I'm just perplexed. I'm just super perplexed. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what kind of end we're hurtling towards, but I'll keep plugging away for it. Toodaloo.